In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a business letterhead just like this one. So, if you like what you have seen and want to create your own business letterhead, keep watching. Having opened Word, the first thing I want to do is insert my logo. So, I go over to Insert, Pictures, then I'm going to choose from my device. I have my logo right here, I select it, then I click on Insert. I reduce the size from here like this I want to be able to move it from one place to another so I can go over to wrap text then I choose in front of text and I can move it to whichever location I want awesome next I will insert a text box I'm going to go ahead and draw it like this then I enter the name of the company I will change the size. I go over to home. And I will change the text. Awesome. I can reposition it like this. Next, I go over to shape format and I'm going to go ahead and remove the shape field. So I will say no field. And then the line, I don't need it, so I say no outline. I can move it a bit. Next, I'll insert another text box. And I'll go ahead and draw it. Like this. I'll say web design agency. Maybe I want to put it in the middle of the company name like this i go over to shape format no feel no outline maybe i can style it so i'll go ahead and make it italize perfect the next thing i want to do is insert a line i go over to shapes then i choose a simple line from here i draw a straight line if i want it to be straight I can hold down the shift key so that I get something like this. Maybe up to the end of the company name. Next, I go over to shape outline and I'm going to increase the weight to 6pt. I go back to shape outline again to change the color. I go to more outline colors and this is where I can choose the particular color I want. Now, if I'm selecting the color, you see that I have hex color code right here. I can easily replace it with the color I want to use, which is going to match with the color of my logo. If I click aside, maybe go to a different text box, you see the color right here. So I click on OK. Next, I go over to insert again. And I choose line. I will draw another line. And I want that one too to be straight maybe up to this point and i want the line to join the first one so i can move it like this to also be in the middle maybe i can select this one by holding the control key on the keyboard then i go over to shape format i click on align then i choose middle and this particular line the color is going to be black so shape format shape outline i choose black and I'm going to go ahead and send it backwards. Perfect. The next thing I do is add my address here. So I go over to insert and I'm going to insert a text box. I'll draw it. I'll start from here. Like this. And I will say one, two, three. Damont Street. Let me open it up something like this. Maybe I want to reduce the size, so I go over to home. I just make it 10. Next, I'm going to duplicate the text box, so I'll just go ahead and click on copy and I paste. I can bring it down here. I actually want to remove the shape outline and shape fill, so I select the first one and I go over to shape format, shape fill no fill outline 
no outline i'll do the same thing here i select the second text box i move it down a bit and i'm going to add my email here info at decoupages.com i will reduce the text box like this and i'm going to go ahead and duplicate it so i click on copy paste i move it like this so that it will be in the same line and here will be web address so i'll just enter www.decoupages.com as a matter of fact i'm going to align it to the right so i just choose align right i select the email align right then i do the same thing to the address let me space in them a bit so i'll take this up a bit and the email will follow like that the next thing i'm going to do is insert an icon so i go over to insert icons so the first one i'll search for address maybe i will enter home i'll choose this one i'll just select it then i come back and search for email i'll use this and then final one web or website i'll use this and i click on insert i have all of them here i'm going to go ahead and bring them down and you see that i won't be able to move them so this one is selected i go over to wrap text then i choose in front of text i can now move it so similarly i'll do the same thing to the rest and the last one now i'm going to change the colors so i'll just select all together then i'll go over to graphics field i'll choose this color and i'll reduce the size or the width okay now i'll take them one after the other to their respective places and finally web i can select all together then i go over to align then i choose center perfect the next thing i want to do is add a footer at the bottom here so i go over to insert i'm going to use a simple rectangle to do that so i select rectangle then i go ahead and draw my rectangular shape right here what i can do is make sure it is centered under a line next i go over to shape fill and i'm going to choose this color the outline i'll just take it off perfect now everything is set let's see how we can add the actual content of the letter so i can come right here just double click to enable the insertion point the first thing i'm going to add is date so I'll just enter a random date. I hit enter and I'll enter the address of the recipient. Now I'll enter the content of the letter. I'll just enter some random text. Awesome. Then I can finish up the letter. I will say CEO. Maybe I can bold up the name like this. I can also increase the size so the person can go ahead and sign here. Now what I can do is go up and I'm going to go ahead and align the date to the right. Maybe the address here can also be bolded like this. I can reduce the line spacing. Perfect. And now we are done with the design of our letter head. Isn't this cool? So that's it on how you can create a business letter head in Word. Now, if you need the same design, 
I'll have a link to it in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out on our website. I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly click on the like button, subscribe if you are new here, and also enable the notification bell so that you don't miss our future videos. Keep watching and we will see you in the next one.